What went into the decision to opt for surgery with Jared? Um, you know, I think more precautionary. Um, uh, obviously, he uh, stumped that uh, foot uh, against Golden State in Vancouver, and then um, try, uh, we tried to bring him back slowly and um, tried to be precautious. But uh, on Thursday in, in Washington, he had uh, started working out. He had started gradually right, like ramping up and um, did a side cut, I think, and had um, an acute um, hit on his foot. And um, I think uh, um, that a stress reaction came uh, came about that. And and uh, we went and saw the doctor in New York, and um, we felt rather than um, wait. Uh, a couple months, uh, we decided just put the screw in. Um, he decided, you know, with his, obviously with his agent and all of us collectively uh, to get it done now. Is this something different than what he? I know he had something in the same foot a couple of years ago. Does this have anything to do? No, no, different, different. Yeah. I mean, when you're being cautious, you know, having surgery and putting a screw in a foot, that's. Mm. that's yeah, you know, I don't. I, I wish I could. I'm not an expert on this. I don't try to be an expert on this. I just studied as much as I can, you know, from my position. But uh, it seems to me, you know, it's been frequent in the NBA's. You know, like he doesn't have a Jones fracture, which is, I think, the one everybody knows. You know, and and I think that's what uh, they are trying to prevent, uh, where it it completely breaks. Uh, and his is just like a tiny like stress reaction. So um, there are ways to uh, to treat it. Uh, I think um, the couple ways are either the surgery or you leave it uh, for a long time. But I, I think through um, uh, through surgery, putting a screw a screw in, and uh, I think it might be bone grafting. I think the, the the doctor feels comfortable with some of the ones that he's done before with with this. Does it leave you more optimistic than I can be? Uh, yes, uh, I, 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 I feel good about it. Again, I'm not an expert, you know, like, but um, I was at the, at, at the doctors in New York um, with, with, um, with Jared and Alex McKechnie, and, you know, he, he, he made us feel, uh, made Jared feel comfortable about it, you know, like, I think, which is important for, for him. So um, these things happen, and it's happened to us. Uh, <laughs> in the NBA, they said when he's going good, you know, just look back, you know, because <laughs> something is coming. So um, I think most important, I think, is Jared. You know, he's very disappointed, uh, but he'll be, he'll be fine. So did what happened on Thursday, did it change the condition of his foot, or what, did it just make you realize that he wasn't going to be able to play through it, uh, what he already had? Well, he... he, he um, he hit it and yeah. his foot inflamed, okay. you know, and so um, uh, there was a reaction there. And so he decided, we decided that he should go look more into it, you know. The size of the athlete, does that make a difference? Did that have something to do with this, de this decision? Well, uh, you know, when you look at it, you know, um, I hate to name other athletes' names, but what are their sizes too? Yes, Jared has had issues, you know, like with his size, but it's pretty like a lot of skinny guys, you know, like have had uh, have had these problems, you know, like uh, Durant, uh, Simmons, uh, uh, Cameron Payne, you know. So I sometimes these things in sports happen. It's luck sometimes or bad luck, you know. But um, hopefully, I, I think he'll get get over it. So. Uh, no, I, I don't. He's been doing well in in what his um, his program was to lose some weight, uh, and he was he was actually doing really well and where where he wanted to be. So um, uh, so I don't know. You know, like it's my it's my answer. You know, for, um, the, all these things, all these cases are individual. I think. Did the doctors decide give you a, any kind of timetable, even just as a ballpark of what you could expect? Um. Yes and no, you know, sometimes with these things, you know, because he is, is um, they're, they're going in precautionary almost, you know, so you, ne you never know, but um, a couple months or three months is what we've heard, you know, like, but we don't know, could be less, could be more, um, so why, 
I think we'll see how surgery goes today. He's over there and he's, he's scheduled to have surgery today. Um, Do you have the pieces on the roster on the side that can step up and, and fill this hole that you have in the front court now? It was a big piece to what we wanted to, you know, where our team was. Uh, obviously, um, we're looking for that kind of a player. Um, and um, it's, yeah, I think it showed that he was, he would add something uh, uh, to us. And now, um, I think we, we, have to, we have to go back to the rookies and um, inexperienced players a little bit. But uh, that's, again, that's the nature of the NBA. You don't cry about it. It's opportunity, you know, and this is how you... Um, you find players, you know, uh, and then from Damari's injuries last year came Norman Powell, you know, and hopefully we're, we're, we're hoping that something will come out of this and uh, will make us a stronger team maybe when, when he returns. But this, all NBA teams go through this. It's your, it's your plan to see how the less experienced players perform in that role before you consider any other ways to fill his absence? Um, yeah, you know, I, I, we like to do our work in the summer, you know, we like continuity and, and, and I think we'll go, we'll go with that and uh, I think um, coach will, um, I know coach is going to uh, figure out how he wants to uh, play the players and he'll tell you guys more on that, you know, but, um, that's, that's his, uh, his part. But, Yes, you know, like you, you assess the team as we go, you know, but um, we're going to be very patient with it, so, um, yeah. What do you foresee missing the most with Jarno? Is it the rebounding there that you think would be the biggest piece that would be missing with out there? Yeah, um, we're re rebounding um, is, a, is a phenomenal passer. I know that, that we were going to get better at, uh, we needed to get better at, you know, um, uh, quick passes, quick hits. You know, um, he's he's uh, he's very good, good basketball IQ. So the rebounding, um, just that that big body. You know, um, pick setting, everything is is pretty pretty big piece for us. Uh, so um, we'll have to figure out ways to adjust.